I see red. Yeah, I think people. we're all red. I see red people. What happened? Where are we? Oh, there, there we are. Where's oh. the? I see where's the title. That's my black and white thinking. Oh, I'm red all over. I read that. Ooh, what is happening? Here? It ain't easy being green. Something. Well, it's the program. What happens here on the program? Turn on the machine. We start talking. Sometimes you can see us. There you go. Can. There we go. Hello. Who's Kenny? But we can't get the thing. Yeah. What happened to, where the effect go? I don't. Are we even coming in? Something happened. Yeah. We're coming in. We're there. So. Uh, yeah, but we're not making a little thing jump here. Yeah, the thing doesn't stop jumping. But, but the little lighty things are working. So that's a good sign. That's all you have to know about the lady, the little lady things. Yeah. Yeah. The little lady things. But that's interesting. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on here. I'm trying to figure it out. We'll have to keep uh, taking out this thing. No, it's this, board, this thing. Oh, really? Something here. Maybe, maybe it's got a little dust in, in the thing. You know, glow on it, maybe? Yeah. Oh, well, that's interesting. Well, yeah, but you had the picture there for a little while. Did it just go away? Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Hey, well, how's it going? It's oh. Monday. It's Monday, and I'm Dan. This is Kenny. Hello, Kenny. What did you do the last week, Dan? You have a good week? I did. Uh, I did a lot. A lot happened to me this week. Lots and lots and lots. Some good, some bad. What happened? Well, I turned, I was going to say red with envy, but that would be green with envy. If I turn, if, it, if the screen goes green again, I'll be envious. Well, that's brown. We're having a brown out. <laughs> oh, a blackout! Oh, God! Yeah, I'm just gonna Oh, there it silly. is. There, I gotta work in. Good deal. <coughs> what's, the, what's, the, what's the stuff that happened to you? Well, let's see. Uh, this was the Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, in, you know, actual time. As opposed to uh, daily hour time. Which is in the future and the past simultaneously. And the present. Yeah. Past, present, and future all at the same time. Yeah. Is that where you do Thanksgiving? Uh, four different events I went to. Four different things. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool looking. Okay. What happened? Kind of cool. Well, um, Wednesday. I did something Wednesday. Wednesday night, I did something. Okay, well, let's just go back in time. Why don't we do that? So. Last night, I went over to my friend's place, and we did art, and drank a lot of wine. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. That was good wine, too. Got it from the gross out. Was it, fan was it fancy wine? Uh, four bucks. It's pretty fancy for me. I was a good wine for four bucks. How much is it? Why is wine usually five, or I mean... Well, the the cheapest wine that I know of is a uh, three buck chuck. Oh yeah. At Trader Joe's, but they're selling it for two fifty now. Whoa. Yeah, so it's two fifty chucky or something. Why do you call it chuck? That seems gross. Charles, it's Charles Charles Schwab or Charles something whatever. So chuck is short for puke. for chuck is puke. That's what I think. <laughs> it could, that could be a reference. This is possible. This will make you feel ever nice. No, no, it's it's wine. So it's not particularly bad wine, although I would have to say it's not particularly good wine. But after the first glass, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's good enough. You know, and if you're eating food or something with it, then it's just fine. But uh, uh, yeah, and it's really funny. My friend has preferred Merlot. 
for a long time, and I prefer the uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, both of which are red wines. And uh, I like the Cabernet because it's uh, kind of a lighter, fruitier flavor. Where's the Merlot? Yeah, we can't see you, can we? You need to get in the shot. Ooh. Yeah, look at this. Whoa. That, that's amazing. What is <laughs> What's what happening? Is We're, there's a screen in front of us. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's a screen right there. So, oh, that's really bizarre looking. So, oh yeah, you just keep fiddling with it. I, I <laughs> find that I enjoy the fiddling. That's What's happening? <laughs> that's weird. Whoa. We're dis disappearing in and out of uh, the space-time continuum. Oh, is that like some still shot from... We're in the, in the space. Now oh, that's interesting. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, wine, cheap wine. So anyway, uh, grocery outlet or uh, gross out, a term of endearment. I really do like grocery outlet. Yeah. And I say gross out because I'm too lazy to say grocery outlet. So I say gross out. It's easier. And it's funny too. Sounds funny. <coughs> anyway, so they will sell wine. Grocery outlet sells all kinds of different brands of wine. Tons and tons of different brands of wine. And the cheapest I've ever seen it is a buck ninety nine, and uh, there's uh, two ninety nine wine. There's usually two or three varieties of wine that's like three bucks, and uh, more that are four bucks, and other ones that are five bucks, and goes up up to I think the most expensive wine that I've seen there was twenty four bucks. And for for grocery outlet, a twenty four dollar bottle of wine, super good. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a hundred bucks everywhere else. Did you get that? Or you, did you oh hell no! <laughs> Twenty-four dollars. Yeah, I refuse to spend that much on wine. So, so you know, five bucks. I bought five and six dollar wine, and that's pretty good. It's kind of well, you know, the wine doesn't sell, right? It doesn't sell at Safeway or Top Foods or or uh, Kroger's or. Uh, uh, Kmart or wherever, you know, whoever sells wine, Walmart. I don't think, does Walmart sell wine? Yeah, Walmart sells everything. Ah, okay. So, so anyway, so it doesn't sell, and so it goes back to a warehouse, and then different people bid on pallets of stuff at the warehouse. And uh, grocery outlet, uh, they go to the warehouse, and they bid on pallets of stuff. And that's why the stuff is different all the time. Every week, you get a different pallet of stuff. Yeah. So uh, there's the main things like, you know, bread, cheese, butter, uh, uh, bags of salad, fruit, vegetables, coffee, stuff like that. There's, there's kind of like the standard fare, but a lot of the other stuff uh, is on the pallet that they did really cheap on and they got, a, you know, they got 500 items. And so half of them go to one store and the other half goes to another store. And when they're gone, they're gone. So, so and that includes the wine. And that's part of the reason why the wine is so cheap, because the, the, the regular grocery stores and Walmart, they've got a traditional markup that Walmart doesn't have to observe. They don't, you know, they just want to make a profit hey, on Mike. it. Yeah, all right. Here, let's just take a look for this message from Mike. Okay. Hey, this is Mike. Uh, password's probably like TV is cool or possibly TV is cool, exclamation point. What's the password? Uh, or it's the same as the username. Gee. I don't know what the username is, you'd have to look at it. Uh, or it has no password at all. Um, if it isn't any of those, uh, I can reset it for you or tell you how to do it. So, anyway, try those. Bye. Mike's gonna tell us, he told us the password on TV. Don't, don't, uh, yeah, find the password, but don't, don't use our computers. This is the next message from Lewis. Hey, what's up, man? This is John, like J O H N. John Root, R O O double O T. John Root. John Root. Hey, John Root. Get back to me, man. I got some uh, propositions to hand you. I'm a performer, an actor, and I got like the ba the the skills to pay the bills. Um, I got my own fucking video store in Olympia. Oh, yeah. And I want to do a promo on your TV show, motherfucker. Whoa. <laughs> Squirrel Meadow. Squirrel Meadow. My album. His album. 2012. Hard labor. Hard water. 
fucking laborious effort. Interesting. My number is 503-367-8263. The All dog's right. about to take a piss on the pole, and you don't even know because he doesn't have a leash, and he's on the go, and he's fucking free as a bird, but he's a dog, and he's strapped to the ground with his legs, and he's running over here. What do you have to say, Mr. Dog? Okay, you have to tell me you can say your number on the air. You can say my number on the air, motherfucker. Oh, okay. And you're you're my you're my main man. Great. The man with the plan. Not for me. The master plan. <laughs> Uplift mofo party plan. Just like Anthony Kita says, because I got his fucking phone number in my fucking phone that I'm talking to you from. Actually, this isn't my phone, but you can call me at 503-367-8263. I'll talk to you soon, Kenny. This is John. R double O T. We'll call John. <laughs> yeah. Call guy. yeah, you know we're going to call him. You know it. So he's got a story. He's got his own story. He wants to do videos. Yeah, he's, he's got a shelf. Have you talked to him? Have you met him before? <laughs> Video shelf? Maybe he'll, yeah, I've been thinking I've been talking about our episode somewhere. I need to find a storage spot. Maybe this guy, he knows where we're going. Although it's... Hello? Hey, John. Hey, John. This is the Good. program. It's the program. Yeah. Yeah. What? It's TV. You're on TV. You're on TV. Oh, cool. I'm on TV. Yeah. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Thanks for calling me back. Oh yeah, how are Did you? Did you get my message last night? Oh yes. yeah, we got your message. Something about a dog peeing on a pole? <laughs> I don't remember, man. I was pretty hammered. Yeah, yeah you sound like on there. Yeah, you were saying. Wait, can I watch can I watch this on the internet right now? No. Is it live? No. No, it's, you can watch it on the internet in a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh cool. Yeah, this program you will be able to hear the sound of your own voice on this program at eleven thirty at night one week from tonight. From today. Cool. I yeah. wanna I wanna think of something funny to say right now. Well, you've got uh, a minute. You've got a minute. So uh, tell us about your store where you're where you're doing your thing. Oh yeah. Um so yeah, I, I recently opened up um a video rental store inside of Phantom City Records. It's all VHS um, videos for rent. And uh, where's that located? It's on um, Franklin and Fourth. It's on Fourth Street. It's in the same building as Dumpster Values and Phantom City Records. Oh. And it's, it's called Cream of the Crap Video. <laughs> And I, I specialize in like 80s trashy horror film. Nice. How's that going? And it's going well. Um, there's you know like two or three people come in a week in a week and are like really excited about it. Um, there's like a small like clientele of people who are like really like fanatic, you know, about movies. So like the more the more people that hear about it, I think like the more uh, successful it'll be. But I need to get the word out, so thanks for like letting me plug it on your show. How many, how many videos, how many VHS videos do you have to offer? Um, right now it's just a shelf that holds about 150 movies, but I'm gonna get it. I'm trying to get another shelf in there, so because I, I have like I have a bunch at my house that I can't fit in the store, but um. As soon as I get like more room to put movies in, I'm gonna expand it over time. Yeah. And it, it, it's gonna grow. It's gonna get bigger. It's, it's just shot. like in phase one right now. I have a yeah. I have a bunch of VHSs. How much? Do you, do you, do you, want, do you want to come on the program? Yeah. Um. Well, it's uh, it's kind of, it's, it's two dollars a movie, but if you get more than one, they're a dollar each after the first film. Good deal. Um, or you could pay twelve dollars a month, and you can have uh, unlimited movies for like a membership. If you pay twelve dollars for a month, you can have as many movies as you want. And there's uh, seven day rental. You can have them for a week at a time. That's uh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I think so. I think it's reasonable. 
So, so if you had every trashy 80s horror movie, how many movies do you think that would end up being? Because that's that's a 10 year period. Uh, uh, I'm sure there are a dozen movie, trashy horror movies per year. So I'm thinking, you know, that's quite a few. I don't understand the question. Uh, how many, how many, how many more movies do you think, if you had a complete collection, how many more movies would that be, other beyond the ones that you have? Does that make like sense? at my house, how many movies do I own? Is that what you're asking? Uh, if you're oh, what, all movies ever made in the '80s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you had a complete collection, how, how many, many movies want, would that be? How big is your dream store? Yeah, your dream store. Oh, my dream store. Uh, you know, I I like to be humble. I'm, I'm not trying to be excessive. And I want to have it, like, you know, be kind of small. So I'm not trying to overdo it. But okay. I don't know. I'd like to have, like, a thousand movies readily available for the public. There you go. Uh, there I you go, go up to the Tacoma. I Actually, I don't want to give away my secret. Never mind. Okay. Hey, listen. Would you like to come on the program? I would on. love to. How about, well, we're booked out. How about in December? Can you come on December 19th? Or I'm going to be on tour with my, uh, I play music, but uh, I'm going to be gone from the 15th to New Year's, so. Oh, okay. Well, how about in January? Yeah, I'll be back in January. I guess we need a new calendar for that, but. Yes, um, just, yeah, let me know what day. I'm pretty free, so. Good deal. Uh, I'll book you in, in, in the January sometime. Yeah, so. Cool, cool. yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, if you don't, uh, if, if Kenny hasn't told you, basically, he just sets up a time with you that's convenient for both of you to, to meet on that day and do the program here at the, here at the okay. studio. So, yeah. I, I also make uh, video mixtapes of, uh, like, video collage from movies that I rent out, so it'd be cool to stream uh, some of that footage. Yeah, you can get, bring them in here, maybe if they're copyrighted, but you can, uh, we can show videos. Okay. Yeah, just gotta be careful with the copyright issue, so. so. Yeah, we'll have to talk about that. I'm not sure if that would be, if that would work then. Okay, well, you and Kenny should have secret negotiations hey, regarding that. Like, you like McDonald's? <laughs> Huh? You like McDonald's? Oh. What? Do you, you like McDonald's? Do I like McDonald's? Yeah, do you like the food at McDonald's? Or like just um, the... the, the like when I'm on the road, yeah, I'll get a McDonald's, totally. What's your favorite chicken nugget sauce? Chicken nugget sauce? Uh, barbecue? That's a good one. I don't like, like, creamy dairy sauces. Yeah. It kind of gross me out. Have you tried the uh, sweet chili sauce? Chicken sauce? Sweet chili sauce. Sweet chili? Yeah. Um, it's kind of orange. I don't like that, no. Yeah, it's, I it's, like hot sauce. Hot sauce is good. Like, um, Well, the sweet chili like, sauce is actually hot. It's got chili peppers in it. Okay. But it's, <laughs> it's like crazy sweet, too. So it's hot. Is that, is, yeah, it's hot and sweet. <laughs> you guys like McDonald's? Um, but I, I like I like pretty good. John, we'll, we'll see you in January, I, in January, okay? You know what? You know what, John? You know what's good are the tacos at Jack in the Box. Yeah. Oh, those they're are good. really like disgusting, but they're amazing. My dad turned me onto those when I was a little kid. You know, I I'm ambivalent about McDonald's because I love the food, but I hate the corporation. Mm. Yeah. You know, yeah. I I hate the corporation, but I love their food. So I'm torn. Yep. Right, I understand how you feel. There's a lot of things like that. It's not just McDonald's. Yeah, same. Yep. Yeah, I agree. That's, all right. Thanks, John. We'll talk to you in January. All right. Sounds good. Okay, have a good tour. Thank you. He's going on a tour. He's going to run his video store. John, I didn't ask him that. <laughs> his video shelf. <laughs> He's got a video shelf. Well, I got thinking, you know, I'm a big fan of the 80s, and I remember a lot of yeah, trashy was horrors. In the 80s. Pardon? You remember the 80s pretty good, huh? I, did, I was a teenager. You see all the... I, yeah. I saw it all. I did it all. Well, not really. 
I'm exaggerating, but I like to I like to say it because I like how that sounds when I say it. You saw trash movies? Oh, tons, tons. I love the hairstyle, the eighties, uh, some of the sound and stuff, but all the all the British rock bands, the eighties. I just love all them. Oh, it's a commercial. I'll try and be quiet. everybody i got a question that commercial for dream phone you just call the number up and tell them about your dream yeah is it like a like a REM sleep dream or or like a dream of being a rock star or a fire truck or something sleeping time dream yeah not i not had your goals oh yeah yeah wednesday night i had five nightmares in a row yeah i woke up Went back to sleep, had another nightmare. Woke up. Did you write them down? Uh, I wrote uh, two of them down. You gotta call him for your dream phone. Oh no, these were terrible. These were not good. You nice don't want to call him for your dream phone? No, no, no. No, no, if it's a regular weird, bizarre nightmare, you know, like some of them are just weird, but they're creepy. Yeah. Right? Those are fine. Somebody's chasing you? No, it was much worse than that. Oh no. Much, much, and it was it was physically painful. It really hurt bad. Uh, yeah, there. Yeah. So, so, and dreams don't normally hurt. This one, uh, these two did. Hurt dreams, huh? Yeah. yeah they're very painful physically. So, it's, uh, it's interesting. So, have you ever had a dream in, in which something was hurting badly? Nope. You're supposed to wake up, right? If you pinch, you're supposed, supposed to. Wake up. to. It's supposed to. It took me crazy it, dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was not fun. I don't recommend them. Hey, someone's calling. Wait, it's out there. Oh, do you know about John Horseman, Dan? I heard John Horseman passed away. He did. Mm -hmm. I was the one that sent the Facebook We're message doing to Memorial all. still. Well, you know, it's really weird. I uh, talked with Joe Neal, right? We've been sending Facebook messages back and forth, and um, it's like. Uh, the church people, because John Horseman went to Joe Neal's church for a number of years, as far as I know, and he helped out with the camera, and he just he attended church, and, and so they had kind of a social relationship with him, as opposed to people at the station, staff at the station, we didn't really have a social relationship with him, but he came and lived at the station so much, yep. that ended up being kind of social, because he would, he would just randomly come in whenever, and get coffee. If mm -hmm. someone was doing a shoot, he would just randomly come in and eat their food. Yeah. He'd, he'd wait till they weren't looking, though. <laughs> but he would come in and eat people's food all the time. And so I found myself like, saying, John, you know, you shouldn't eat their food unless you're helping them out. And he's like, sorry, Dan, sorry, Dan, sorry, Dan, sorry, Dan. Yeah. Right? And it's like, I, I felt bad getting after him, but... I, it was frustrating because he knew. Yeah, but he wants to eat the food. I don't think the people would care that much. Then we, we well, that food. no, get no. some to John Horseman. But you, you, okay, listen. People come in to do a shoot, right? They spread out the food. Everyone nibbles and eats the food. Then they all go in to do the shoot. That's when you steal the food, right? But John wouldn't wait. <laughs> We're still walking around. John! You're not trying to steal the food. You, you, do, you, you wait to do the sneaky thing. Yeah. yeah that's, You're going to steal. That's underhanded. John is uh, more <laughs> less underhanded. No, well, see, the, the people are too polite to say anything to him. Yeah, they should let John... Well, they're not too polite. I think they don't care. Do well, think? I don't think they mind. Uh, yeah, they don't like, mind. Like, like, right, when I do karaoke only, right? I make that big thing of chili and the chips. I think it's for it's for everybody. Yeah, it's for the crew. But you, but you should have told John not to eat that food. The, the, the people shooting. 
the whole idea is for the crew, and you realize that sometimes people hanging out there are kind of hungry, so you have a little bit extra. Yeah, but, but, but it's for the crew, right? It's for the crew, and I don't mind if other people eat it. If, if other people ate it and there wasn't enough for the crew, that would bother me. I would not like that. I wouldn't be happy about well, that at all. Well, John, don't, don't, yeah, you say your story is like a, this, the story about you stealing food, your John Horkin story? Well, I use the word steal loosely. Just borrowing, taking, whatever. Uh, yeah, but how long, how long, was he, he was on TV for a long time and his show was really good. Yeah, 15 years at least. He was doing shows before I was doing shows. Whoa. I started doing shows in 2000. He was doing, uh, he was doing a show back in like 96. Yep. When the station first opened, he got involved right away. And he was, um, I would say he was a little bit more together then. Or, uh, I don't know, things were different for him because he did shows and had guests all the time. And he would talk to the guests, and all the guests would have microphones. And I was a guest on one of his shows, like a couple times, when I was uh, involved in the Capitol Clubhouse. But so he had a show with guests. What, what did he do on a show? I was. It, they were mental health shows, and uh, he called them, you know, mental uh, mental health hour. Or, no, he didn't call that. I don't know what he called it. I just it was the John Horseman show, I guess. Whoa. I don't, I don't remember the name of it. But he had guests. Uh, he had guests that did performing. He had guests that did. Uh, uh, he had he had guests that did um, all kinds of stuff in the social services and community kind of kind of mental health and social service community thing. You know, um, Shri Tessier, right? Have you seen her? Do you know who she uh, is? I don't know. Okay, she's this. Uh, she's like in her fifties or sixties or something. Sometimes she's in a wheelchair, and she has a show once a month that oh, she invites show. disabled people on. I think I saw her, yeah. Yeah, all kinds of disabled people. I don't remember the name of the show, but she, she does two different shows. One is Meet Your Legislator, and another one is uh, Disabilities, kind of advocacy show. Yep. Where are different disability things. And, and this is what John Horseman did. He did kind of the disability thing, social service thing, people that were disadvantaged, disenfranchised. Uh, disabled in some way, um, you know, uh, poor, indigent, whatever. But that's that was kind of the nature of the show that he did. And uh, when I was doing stuff at the Cowboy Clubhouse, I of course uh, was a guest, and it was okay. It was a nice show, but uh, but uh, it it was my first experience to television. And then later, I went to the orientation. And well, did you see his show and you're like, man, or you were on his show and you Yeah, back in the 90s. You yeah. thought it was a fun thing and you're like, man, this is a fun thing I could be doing. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. So John Horseman introduced you to TCTV, maybe? Yeah, actually he did. Actually he did. He, he, did. Was, he was the way I was introduced to TCTV. You wouldn't have gone to TCTV if it wasn't for him, huh? Mm. No, I would have eventually. You know, I mean, you get in the river, you eventually end up in the sea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're, they're, A, Olympia is a small town, TCTV is a public access station, I'm extroverted and people-oriented, of course I'm going to end up doing something Are you looking TV. for TV? Uh, just not looking, but it's, it's... Before that, though? Well, yeah, I would gravitate to You don't want to say John introduced you to TCTV? He introduced me to TCTV, no, but I think eventually I would have found TCTV no. anyway. Yeah. No, it's, it's him. Yeah, because I am doing... John, John I am Horseman... Got you on TV. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. I think you got me on. I mean, I was watching the show, and I was watching John Horseman's show, and I, th and I thought that I, c I could do this, too. What, so was like what was the first TCTV show that you remember watching, seeing? Oh, I don't know. I watched, I did watch, I watched John's show for a long time, though, since I was very young. And I watched the show a lot on TV, and I was, I was like, whoa, this show's crazy. I watched it every, every week. I told my friends about it and stuff, and nobody would watch it, really. I know. I, still watched it. I know. I tell people all the time. There's stuff on the show. There's stuff on the channel. It's cool stuff. You should watch, watch it. it. Watch and then John. I go. Uh, uh, uh. The John John Horkman show. That was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when he, he when he got into trouble with his wife and they had to separate and he went to jail briefly, that changed a lot for him. That was devastating for him. That really messed with him in a bad way. And it his shows after that. 
were his way of trying to figure out what happened. I mean, he already had kind of a theme of, of you know, a survivor of abuse from his childhood and stuff. Uh, but this really messed with him in a hard and difficult way. And all the shows were about that incident and the things that led up to it and related to it. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, this, you know, um, it was like uh, like five or six years ago this happened. Oh, that's it? I thought it was long. He's done a hundred shows about that event yeah. that happened. And, uh, uh, yeah, it really messed with him because, you know, here he married a person that uh, had acute schizophrenia. She had acute symptoms. She still has acute symptoms where she thinks she's somebody else. She thinks she's somewhere else. She thinks something else is going on. She doesn't really have a good grasp on reality. She doesn't have a... Um, she's not connected very well. She hears stuff and thinks stuff. And he married her. They knew each other for like maybe three weeks or a month. Maybe three months. It wasn't very long at all. And they got married. Yeah. And uh, uh, they started fighting right away. Uh, it wasn't too long before they were they were fighting because she... She didn't have a really good grasp on the world around her, and uh, uh, he doesn't, or didn't, he didn't have coping skills or communication skills or, you know, grasping the sense that, okay, she's not really grounded very well, and here's what to say and what not to say, especially what not to say. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, I directed the Cavill Clubhouse for three years, so, whoops. Whoa. That was, that's weird. What happened? I don't know. Oh, they're back. That's weird. Okay, so. Yep. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so, so. So they were married for, I don't know how long they were married, uh, but they started, hey, we're underwater. But they started uh, fighting, and uh, she ended up throwing a cat against the wall. He, John really likes cats, and he's had cats. So she ended up throwing one against the wall, and they started hitting each other. Whoa. And they got into, they got into a, 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 a physical fight, and the police were called. Uh, I don't know who called the police, but the police were called. And when the police show up and there's some kind of domestic violence, somebody's going to jail. It doesn't matter who. One of them is going to jail. It's the law. Yeah. You know, there could be three fighting. Somebody is going to jail. It's automatic. Whoa. They go to jail. So, uh, John is the guy. He's going to jail. And uh, John is the kind of person who's generally quite honest and genuine. And he admits to stuff, generally, so, uh, you know, and uh, 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 Rachel had the greater mental health issue, so her going to jail is not a good idea, not a good idea at all, she needs to go to the hospital, not the jail. Well, so. do you know where we can find his old shows? You, uh, you, you, can he, you know what? The shelves in Studio B, I would look there. Are they archived I, in there? I, I, I found a bunch. He was not interested in his old VHS shows. Oh. Uh, so he doesn't have them? He may have a whole bunch of mini DV tapes. I want to see a show with a guest. We need a guest. Was it, did he come here to the station? Mm -hmm. or, or no, he never came to the studio. He, came to, he, he was on the show one time when we shot the show at TCTV with Gary Rogers. I don't think he liked the idea of coming on other people's shows because he had been a fighter and other stuff, but he didn't like that because he didn't have any... That's kind of hurt. Ah, it's about control. Yep. It's about having control over what's going on. Hey, Freddy. Hey, Freddy. Hey, guys. How you doing? I'm good. You just called me on my new phone. Yeah, hey, we You got a new phone? Yeah, this, you're like the first person who actually called me. Whoa. Yeah. How's it working? I'm holding up to the test and I sent a text message and received the text message. You're the first actual person to just call my number and it works. Oh, great. Hey, uh, how's your, how's your, how's the phone? How's your ringtone? 
Uh, right now it's stuck. I just realized that my ringtone totally sucks. It's like... Like that. Oh man, you gotta change it then. Yeah, I gotta get something good. Hey, are you uh, at the beach still? Or? Well, I'm getting ready to go to CCTV right now. Yeah, you're teaching a class, huh? I am teaching a class. Yeah, me too. You're gonna teach the same class? No, no, I'm teaching the studio class while Freddie's teaching the uh, the camera class. What's the studio class? Uh, studio how, class to do, how to use the cameras and stuff? Uh-huh, yeah. Those cameras are so old. <laughs> Not like these ones are here in the studio or our studio are any better, but... That looks good. Those ones are old. That looks good. That's good. Oh. Color. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, we're st it's a we're, we're still here. Yeah, we're having uh, we're having picture issues, video video issues. Yeah. Couple. Oh, hey, Freddie, are you there? I'm here. How's, how's the production then going? Um, it's still the same as yesterday, but by the end of today, it will be better. I'm about to capture some tapes, probably, and maybe do a PCTV for a little bit and capture some tapes. You gotta get a background tape. Yeah. Background tape. I gotta. Wait, do we have that commercial? Yeah, it's on YouTube. We can d you can get it from YouTube. Okay, I'll download it from YouTube today. Also, yeah, I, I'm gonna build, build this thing. I gotta build a machine. Hey, Freddy. Uh, Freddy, I gotta warn you too. Um, there is a member uh, that we both know and care about that uh, checks out the laptop a lot and does. Does a does a show? His first name is Joe. <laughs> he he has been desperate to get into today's uh, class, and uh, I haven't called him back or sent Facebook messages back. But he's been uh, uh, he's been very intense and kind of panicky, and and uh, so uh, I just wanted to give you a heads I'll up. I'll take a problem. Pardon? He's panicky, and is he okay? Yeah, what's wrong with him? He wants to be in the class. And he rearranged his schedule, and his wife rearranged her schedule. So he's going to be in the class, or? No, the class is fully booked. Oh, why can't you just put him in there anyway? Just add it. Just put one more person in. I, yeah, I ended up calling to talk to Robert about it. Say, hey, you know, can you just, you know, squeeze one more person in? And then, I uh, thought Michael Aiki dropped out of the class because he's going to do a later one, so there's probably a spot, dude. Yeah, just have him show up. You check the field. Just tell him to show up anyway. That's not, maybe, yeah, I think it's, I think it's fine. Well, don't make him panic. Just, I, just let yeah, him do it, Deb. I ended up talking to Deb because Kim passed me to Deb and Deb said no. Well, just well, oh, why did you even ask Deb? In the I, class. Didn't, I didn't have a choice. Just Kim let him just, me to Deb. just let the guy come and see. I bet somebody won't show up. Not everybody shows up to these classes. You just got to have him you show know, up. You can't just have the guy panicking. You know, uh, Freddie, if you could give him a call and talk to him directly. Tell him not to panic. Okay. Tell him that everything's okay, that uh, he just, can go take just, James' class. He, he's... Just between right. between you and I and the and everyone watching the show <laughs> on the internet, just between us, um, uh, panic. It, 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 it's been driving me a little crazy because I can't do anything about it, and he wants help and I can't I can't help. You can him. help him. Just let him in the class, man. You can help him the whole time. He's letting him panic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So, so I just wanted to send that out to you and, and uh, you know, uh, give it to you and uh, wish you good luck with that. All right. That's fine. With the okay, that's cool, Dan. Thanks. Yeah. I'll be sure to take care of that. Okay. <laughs> cool. Right. Thank you, Freddie. Hey. Right. So, so uh, we'll see you there. All right. I'm gonna go. I'll, I'm gonna drive to CCTV and teach class. Yeah, yeah, me too. Oh wait, oh man, maybe we should stop by and grab tapes. No, we'll give him, I'll give him to Dan. Yeah, 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 give him to Dan. Give him the tapes. Yeah, give him to Dan. All right. All right. Okay, bye bye. Have a good. Have a good one. Bye. Yeah, Dan, don't lose the tapes. Hey, can I have a French fry? Yeah, they're in that bag right there. You can have okay. some popcorn chicken. You want some popcorn chicken too? Yeah, you can have them. They're from Walmart. Yep. That's good. Even though it's from China.
Pete, this is supposed to be on the program, but he's not answering his phone, though. I knew this guy. He went into Walmart. It's a couple years ago. Her call is forwarded through an automatic voice message system. Three, six, zero, five, eight. And he asked three different people zero, to help six, him find something at Walmart that was not from China. Your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. The food. To the callback number. Press five. Yes. We have, like, hey Keith, that's the program. Uh, you're scheduled to be on here tomorrow at 2 o'clock, so maybe you can go to that. You can call back numbers 330-536-3802. Bye bye. YDHWM. YDHWM. Every night, 11 30 p.m. Let's hear the letters of the title of the show. YDHWM. 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 Okay. Every night, 11:30 p.m. Thank you, Kenny. You're very generous. Hey, we're back. Oh, this is good. Danielle, you got him. I heard you got a, a ticket. Yeah, I got a speeding ticket. How's that? Oh, it sucks. I'm going to contest it, though. I feel... I heard if you go and contest it, it and lots of times the officer people, they don't show up to the court. Mm-hmm. Then gets thrown out. What do you... So what happened to you? Okay, so... <clears throat> on Friday night, it, I was doing another Thanksgiving thing. They didn't have turkey. No, they did have turkey. I did have turkey for Thanksgiving. Uh, we were having a leftover thing. I brought squash. They had salads, salad and ham and turkey and some sort of a casserole stuff. And uh, um, we watched uh, Transformers 3, which was really good. Um, so, so um, uh, I was coming home and um, I'm trying to think what, what road this is. What is the road that uh, it goes south? Well, it's capital for a long ways. It goes, it goes past, um, it goes past Kentucky Fried Chicken and, uh, uh, it would go, yeah, it's Capitol Boulevard, but you make the zigzag and go in front of Falls Terrace restaurant and the brewery and it goes down underneath the freeway and then it runs along the, the length of the lake. Yeah. That road. Do you know that road? Yes. Okay, that that road, right where it goes underneath the, the underpass, you have to slow down to 25. And I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. And uh, he caught me going 35 in a 25 mile an hour zone. Oh, man. Yeah, which, uh, it's only 10 miles an hour. That's a lot. Is it really? I think ten, I mean, that's a, for, yeah, 25, 35, that's speeding, definitely speeding. Well, yeah, but it, it comes up on you really quick, and the whole road is, is 35, even after the underpass, is still 35 miles an hour. There's a little spot, 25. Yeah, it's a little section, and uh, it's easy to miss, it's easy to, to not catch it, and you end up having to slow down to go around the corner anyway, just to be safe. Uh, you don't, you may not need to slow down to 25, but you definitely slow down. And I was, I was, uh, I was just approaching it and, uh, all the lights went on, but he was parked. He was in this little spot parked that, um, was right behind the sign. Who tied him? The state patrol. Who's hiding? He was trying to trap you. With the radar. He had the radar. He showed you, he showed you the radar? He just told me that I was going 41 in a 25 mile uh, zone, but it was just 35. So I was going six mile an hour, six miles an hour over the speed limit that was. And then suddenly 15, but he said I reduced it down to 35. But it's a $125 ticket, yeah. 10 miles over. It's worse if you're in a school zone and it's really, really bad if you're on the freeway and there's all kinds of signs that say slow down and you don't. It's really bad because, uh, uh, Road workers have been killed and police have been killed. A lot of people have been killed on the freeway because uh, 
uh, they don't slow down. On the freeway, you get killed. On the regular road, you just get maimed and, and you know, par paraplegicized. Yep. You're just hurt and injured All as right. opposed to being killed. So, so yeah, I'm going to go and contest it. I just got a call and show up in the morning. Please. Nice to you. Hey, oh, McDonald's. Hello? Hello, yes. Yeah. Do you guys have the pumpkin pies? We don't anymore. We're doing the holiday pies now. What's in them? What's in the holiday pies? Um, they're like, they, it's like custard. It's custard-like. It kind of tastes like a sugar cookie. Oh. So it's so, like custard with like custard filling. So, so, oh you, so you've tried one? I'm sorry, what was that? I've never tried one. Ha you've tried one? You want to buy one? No, no, I have never tried one. Ha so Did they taste like it? a sugar cookie? Yeah, it's like a sugar cookie. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, that's good to know, because I was going to buy one. You were, you were you gonna try out? Well, I spent my dollar on parking. <laughs> I can't get two things now. Your last dollar. <clears throat> well, I have money in the bank, and there's the bank on the way. So, yeah, hundred twenty-five dollar ticket, and uh, 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 the officer, the state patrol dude, he was fine. He he wasn't mean or nasty or anything. He was nice, actually. Actually, he was respectful, and and uh, yeah. Yeah, he, the kind of guy you'd like to get to know better. He was all right. He wasn't. He wasn't a hard ass or anything. He, did he? Did he shine a flashlight in your eyes? Oh yeah. They always do. Mm. It's standard operating procedure. Yeah, but you know there are things that you can do when you get pulled over that make the cop less nervous. It's important to remember that when you get pulled over, there are certain behaviors that you can do that will make them more nervous and certain behaviors that will make them less nervous. Yeah. First of all, you turn off your car. You pull over, wherever you're gonna pull over, you try and find a really safe spot, and you turn off your car. If you drive for more than like 30 seconds, driving around at, with them behind you with the lights on, right? That makes them nervous. Because you're, you're, you're wasting time. Yeah. You pull over immediately, uh, that's a good thing. You turn off your engine, Okay. <clears throat> the second thing you do is you find your insurance, you find your registration, and you just, and if you're smart, you stick it up in the visor. Because they turn on their little light so they can see into the front seat of the car and they can see what you're doing. Yep. And if you're, if you're trying to, if you've got drugs or guns or, you know, uh, uh, naked pictures of someone's mother, right? <laughs> and you're trying to shove them and hide them and stuff, they see that. They, they they look for that. That's they know what that kind of action is when you're trying to shove something. Right? Looking uh, for shoving. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 trained, right? And experience tells them that. Uh, the uh, so so you grab your license and your registration and insurance and uh, you better have it. You better have it. Because I couldn't find my insurance. I had, I'd stuck it in a different part of the visor, and, and I had old ones, but I didn't have anything current. And I'm like, I know I got it. It's in here somewhere. I just can't remember where I stuck it. So, so he's like, okay. He says, yeah, your tabs are current. Everything's fine with that. Just need to find your insurance. So, so he came back, right? He, he took my registration and all that. He, he, his computer gives him exactly the same information. The car, the make, the model, the driver my license, all that. He has all the current information. Oh. Why he takes the physical copies with him, I don't know. Maybe I'm less inclined to leave <laughs> with him holding onto my <laughs> insurance and registration. You want to make sure you're the same person. I guess. I guess, but they, they have, they can pull up the picture. Oh yeah? Sure. Yeah. I think, I think, I think they have image, uh, their, their computers can do images now, I think. I may be wrong. But it's all text and stuff, but, uh, you know, still, it's pretty, pretty, you know, they figure out pretty quickly if you're, you know, trying to shine them on or something, right? Yep. So, so, and uh, the other thing, you don't lie to them. Whatever the question is, you just give them the straight truth. You don't lie to them. 
that pisses them off. That's uh, yeah. Nobody yeah. likes lying. Well, you know, you want to give them a story like, oh, even though I drive along this road, well, maybe once a week, once every couple of weeks, I didn't know about the the, the speed reduction for a hundred feet. It drives did, me crazy did too. Did you do that? What? Did you uh, lie to the police? You oh God, no. no, 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 <laughs> no, no. I said, you know, I didn't real, you know. I knew that I had to slow down. I didn't slow down in time, and I just, I, I just don't see the the road signs, and uh, you're you're subliminally aware of it, but you just, you know, you just don't do it in time. And I said that's that's what happened. I just didn't slow down in time. So you know. Now look out, people! Are they're hiding. The police will hide behind signs and stuff. Yeah. They're, that's like I thought. I don't know what you know. It seems like entrapment. It, 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 but it feels that way. I don't know if it actually literally is. Literally a trap. <laughs> he is. They've got a gun. They've got, they've a, got a, a radar. Gun. A radar gun. Oh. That shoots you with radars. Yeah. <laughs> look out. The police are literally trying to trap you. So look out for it behind signs. Yeah. Uh, well, the thing is, too, is uh, I'm kind of torn because you shouldn't be going fast down underneath in that curve. That's a that's a kind of a tight curve, and there's a freeway. Down. Yeah, there's a freeway uh, entrance right there, and people turn off that road to get on the freeway. So you know, if you're going too fast, you're not going to have time to slow down with some dude that's slowing down to turn off under the freeway. So. So it's not a bad place for for speed reduction. It's just not intuitive. You know, you don't you don't ex it just it it comes up so fast. It's just uh, it's hard to comply with the speed rule because um, you don't have time to react. You don't have a nice, steady, easy time to react. I think. I don't know. I, I have a t I, I have difficulty defending my not getting a ticket <laughs> because I think it's a good idea to slow down and I didn't. What I am going to do is I'm going to ask the judge uh, to uh, reduce the amount of my fine. Yeah. If the if the officer shows up, I'm going to say, listen, this this fine, 124 bucks, is a burden. It's a hardship. It hurts me bad. It's a week's worth of groceries for me. And I am not wealthy. I don't make a, a uh, very much money at all. And so, you know, I have enough to eat, but this hurts. This yeah. hurts me. And I'll tell the Your judge, call. too, Automatic yep. I would be willing to do community service in lieu of a fine. I would be more than happy to. Uh, it's the money thing. You know, yeah, yeah, I was going faster than I should have. I wasn't paying attention to this to the speedometer. Uh, you know, I don't know when the last time the, the radar gun was calibrated, but, uh, you know, I don't think I don't think me being busted for speeding was unfair, is what I'm saying. I'm just saying the cost of the ticket is huge. It's too much. I can't afford it. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, well, just trying to be fair about these things and just talking way, 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 way too much about all of it. Go to the judge. Yeah, we'll the judge. Yeah. All right, we have about five minutes left. Six minutes left six. of the show. Six minutes. It's the big finale of the show. Yeah. Yeah, so what'd you do? What'd you do for the Thanksgiving? I saw my grandma. She watches the show. Hi, grandma. <laughs> hey, grandma. Yeah, she likes to watch the show. Serious? She likes... Yeah, she watches the show, but she... Because you're she on the show. She doesn't like... Uh, she doesn't like anybody on the show. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying that, Grandma, but she likes you on the show. She likes me on the show, but she always says to the guests, so she was like, "Where did you find these people?" Like, what, you, what, you, what, yeah, she, what did she say about me? She's like, "Who was that weird old guy?" <laughs> That's what she would say. <laughs> but she, I mean, she's like older than you, but of course. yeah, but you know, uh, almost all of your guests are in their twenties. They're your age. Oh yeah. I mean, you've had uh, John. John, John, uh... Webster? John Webster. Oh, hey! Hey, John Webster! Yeah, John Webster watches the show, too. Yeah, he called me at home. <laughs> and he likes my beard, which is really nice. Hey, John. So, he comes on the show from time to time, and I think you've had a few people, but the vast majority of the people on your show are young people. Yeah, well... So, and I'm the old dude that comes on Mondays. So, I... 
I can't help that I'm as old as I am. Yeah. I tried everybody, not to be. Everybody in the month of November. Well, actually, yeah. Yeah, everybody, everybody is young people, but that just happened. I don't know. I can't find other people are calling the show. If you guys want to be on the show, call in, old people. You're watching the show? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you old people. Come on the show. Or your dance, if your dance peers. Yes, my peers. Or if you're female and you would like to date hey, me. That's why, you know, that's why there's no people come on. <laughs> yeah, Dan's looking for a girlfriend. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm you really... You just said some. Uh, date. Date. I don't know. Isn't dating different than girlfriend? No. Yeah, it is. Isn't All it? Right. Dating is an event. Dan girlfriend is a situation. Dan's yeah. waiting for a date. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Truly, Kenny, uh, 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 I think I'm... I think I'm kind of, kind of strange, you know, odd, crazy. Yeah. Right. And, and so his mental health, his mental health. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I kind of have the the notion that a female person uh, that I'm attracted to or is attracted to me would have to be kind of crazy to like me. Look, I'm someone crazy. That. No, I don't want someone that's crazy. Oh, well, you, but you're crazy. You don't want to find someone else who's crazy. No, anymore? no. I tend to think they'd have to be crazy to like me. That's what I'm thinking. We should go. Uh, That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. You guys crazy? Find Dan. He's gonna want to. No. Date. Oh, no. No, don't do that. No, I would like a gentle soul. I would You're like to crazy. be with a gentle soul. Uh, you know, everyone's a little crazy, a little now and again. I but just, not super crazy. Well, I just like medium. You know, I like the gentle soul. Someone that wants. Excitement and adventure all the time. Have you, you tried know? getting on those on the websites? Kind of dating website. Yeah, but they never write you back. See? Nope. Yeah. They never write you back? No, you they don't. Out. Well, I just say yeah. hi. I say hi, but uh, something Some about picks. my profile pictures and my profile stuff just uh, does not. They can see on the on the the pictures on the internet before. Yeah, yeah. So so I don't know what it is. You gotta take and your pictures down. Yeah, and I'm not really trying very hard either. I'm not. I'm not trying really hard. Go to, the, go to the club. Which club? There's a singles club, but you gotta pay, and I'm too poor to pay. Um, I can't know. afford a girlfriend. I can don't, afford. Yeah, don't tell. If you want, <laughs> don't tell anybody that either. <laughs> if you don't have any money, don't yeah, say but it. I can't fool them. I yeah, can't, you can. I can't produce mo monopoly money on a date. What do you need? To, oh, you just need to just save up money for one day, and then to, and then. One day and a month? Them. And then after that, you have to start, well, you have to be creative, go to like a park, and then, uh... Ooh, uh, uh, I could do the run out of gas thing. Yeah, oh yes. Without actually running out of gas, because that would really Take money suck. out of a cup. Uh, what? Something. Stand on the street and beg for money so I can afford a date? I yeah. should do that. Spanging for dates. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's funny. Well, you know, I'm not in any rush, and I tend to be of the opinion that uh, something will just happen. Well, everybody uh, out there on TV, you guys watching the show, they're in Thurston County. Yeah. I'm not much to look at. I'm rather silly. Uh, and he's poor. Yeah. <laughs> and he has a speeding ticket. But I'm really good at <laughs> cooking. Wait, what are you Very good at? Very good at cooking. You're good at cooking, but, oh, you, I'm but you can't afford the food or something, right? <laughs> I can afford to buy good food and cook it at home. I All can't right. afford to go to a restaurant. So I've learned how to cook very well. Also, I'm good at doing foot rubs. I'm very good at All that. right, call in for that. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I am. Thanks. Okay, yeah, we're going to say goodbye now on that note. So, uh, Kenny, you should come and take one of the classes. With the camera, the HD camera at the station. You should do that. I don't need to do anything. I am already on TV. <laughs> I'm too good for your class. What am I gonna learn? <laughs> I'll teach you a class. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I I just learned some stuff about the soundboard today. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Because I see you moving the knobs around, but uh, didn't really pay any attention. But now I'm certified to move the knobs around. Thanks, viewers. <laughs> Thank you, viewers. Thanks, TCTV. We're glad that you watch. We're glad that TCTV gives us a Thanks, show. Thanks, LeBebe. Hi, LeBebe. 
Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah, bye-bye. Okay, if you want to be a sponsor, give us a call. Let us know. We want to know. We, w- we want you to sponsor our show. See, look how we disappeared. And yet, our voices remain. We're ghosts.